Hi, I'm Brian Van from Sport Bike Track Gear, SportBikeTrackGear.com, and today we're going to do a video review on the Alpine Stars Bionic Chest Armor Upgrade. Initially, let's do a review of the piece itself. This comes in two pieces, one right and one left. It uses a hard outer GP shell with some energy absorbing foam on the back side, right? You can see the profile is rather thin. We've got perforations in here to maintain airflow, especially if you're using a heavily perforated jacket. You don't want to lose that airflow quality up front when you're adding the protection to the jacket. The foam on the back side, if you can zoom in there, Josh, is also perforated. That's going to maintain a good, solid level of airflow. What we're replacing is the medium density foam padding that comes in the jacket. You can see the difference between these two in terms of protection is going to be quite clear. Okay, When you have this hard outer shell like this, and if you take an impact on it, how this is going to work is it's going to take that impact and it's going to try and disperse that energy over a larger area. Hit here, it's going to push it everywhere. Okay, Now, if that same impact were to happen to this foam, all the energy winds up in this one spot. Okay, Definitely offers a bit of protection, there's no doubt about it. Okay, It's better than nothing without a question. However, this foam cannot protect in the same manner that this bionic chest armor can. Right? What we're going to do in this video, almost every one of the jackets in the Alpine Star catalog is able to accept these upgrades. This is a one size fits all upgrade. The installation is easy. In this video, we're going to show you how to install this armor in an Alpine Star's Tech 1R jacket. The procedure will be the same for almost every one of the jackets in the catalog minor variants. The reality is anyone can do this and get it done right. We're also going to show you how this jacket fit me before we installed the upgrades and after the upgrades. It's a size 54 Alpine Stars Tech 1R jacket just for reference. Stay tuned for more. Alright, here we go. Now I'm going to show you how to install the Alpine Stars Bionic Chest Armor in this Tech 1R jacket. This procedure is, is similar pretty much across the board. There are going to be some of the jackets that are going to have a pocket that you'll actually access just inside the liner here. All right, you'll open up the jacket, perhaps if it has a removable quilted liner, you'll see a Velcro pocket here clearly marked install protection here. It's done a little bit differently on the Tech 1R, and we're going to show you how to do that. Still real easy. On the Tech 1R, you're going to want to get to the base of the jacket. There's a tag here that says install protection here. Grab the zipper, open that pocket up. From there, you want to reach inside, in between the liner and the outer shell of the jacket, you're going to feel the chest armor. For the purpose of this video, I'm going to go ahead and distort the liner just a little bit so you can see what I'm doing a little more clearly. So here is a tag that's stitched on install protection here. This is a very simple Velcro storage pocket. Let's go ahead and open that up and pull out the medium density foam, right? The only thing that's critical is that you make sure you put the right piece in the right side and you orient it properly. How this is designed to work, the longest side fits towards the center of the jacket. Where it's thinnest in width, you want that at the top. So this is clearly going to be the same piece that I removed. Let's go ahead and slip that in the pocket. Take your time, make sure you've got all the Velcro done up nicely, okay? And it's held in place properly. What you don't want to have happen is you don't want this thing slipping out of position and just floating around the inside of the jacket because then realistically, it's not going to be able to do its intended job if you happen to fall off the bike, right? Another nice little bonus with this is when you're laying on the tank, you get a little protection from vibration and impact there too. Let's go to the other side of the jacket, mirror image of what we showed you there on the left. Let's undo that Velcro pocket, clearly marked with that same label. Let's remove that foam. Remember, make sure that you've got the longest side towards the center of the jacket. 
and that hard outer shell is going to face out. The foam part faces inward. Undo the foam, undo the Velcro, slip that inside like so. Take your time here once again. Let's make sure you've got this all put together neatly and just right so that the armor does not come loose inside the jacket. If it comes loose, it can't do its job. Okay, there you go. This jacket now has the chest armor upgrade installed, and I have already also installed the back armor upgrade. Stay tuned. We're going to show you a 360 of me wearing this jacket. I've already shown you one where it had just the stock foam padding in. The second 360 you're going to see, this jacket will have the Alpine Stars Bionic chest armor in it, as well as the Alpine Stars Bio Armor back insert. Okay, still wearing size 54 Euro, 44 US in the Alpine Stars Tech 1R leather jacket. The only difference being now, I've removed the medium density foam pads from the chest and the back, and I've replaced them with the available upgrades. In the back, I used the BioArmor CE certified back insert. In the chest, I installed the Alpine Stars Bionic chest armor. Let's first talk about how the jacket feels as compared to having just the foam in it. Realistically, myself, I don't really notice any difference that's worth talking about. A little bit in the chest, I can feel them in the chest, but not in a way that I'd complain about it in any way, shape, or form. It might even kind of give you the sensation that you're a little safer. And it's kind of got a hold of you. Maybe that's all I notice. Let's give you a 360 so you can see for yourself the difference between the two. Front, side, back, moving around. You don't feel any restriction from the chest or the back when I'm moving. If you've been to our website before, you've done business with us, you've been to our YouTube channel, you'll probably have already gathered that for us, you know, body armor is a big deal. It's something that we really preach. Not only do we preach it, but we do practice it. The reality is falling off a motorcycle, it can hurt. It can also leave you injured. Anything you can do to help reduce the pain and hopefully hold off the injury, in my opinion, is a good decision and it's worth the investment. In the case of these Alpine Stars technical jackets, these upgrades, very, very affordable. Okay, very affordable, and the best part is when you got them in, you don't even really know that they're there. So why wouldn't you want to do it? A good example is you can take one of their mesh jackets, okay? Mesh jacket, you're usually giving up a little bit of protection when you wear mesh or textile, as compared to a leather like this Tech 1R, right? But it's a lot cooler and easier to ride in a lighter weight, right? You take and put in this chest and that back in, in that standard mesh or textile jacket, and you take its level of protection to new heights. And it can really make a difference if you happen to have an accident and fall off the bike. I think the message is a good one, right? Keep yourself safe when you ride, and sooner or later everybody falls off. I can remember when I thought I was never going to fall off. It, it took right to my second track day, and I was, you know, sliding through turn one at Grattan Raceway, and I had on, I had on good gear for the most part. I did learn a couple of lessons about back protection there, right? And from there I improved the stuff that I was wearing because I realized that there's true benefits from wearing this stuff. The best part is with this jacket stuff, you can keep it really comfortable. You don't even know it's there. Hopefully this helps you. Any questions, never hesitate to call 888-784-4327. Bring you here toll free. Or shoot us an email to orders at sportbiketrackgear.com. Nobody has better product knowledge than our team here at sportbiketrackgear.com.